Battle of the Heated Round Brushes. Let's see which one is better. I have about eight right here. This is going to be a long video. Grab some popcorn. Let's get right into it. I wanted to start with this one because this is the bigger size out of all of them. So you are going to get like bigger waves with this. So let's turn this on. I'm going to put in the heat setting 390. And we're just going to do some curls on the ends. So if you're wondering how I'm going to film this video, I'm just going to be dividing my hair into different sections. I'm going to do a fresh curl per hair tool on very straight hair. So let's get right into it. So we're going to take the hair tool and just smooth out the hair first. This heated round brush is very good for just basically smoothing out your hair if you want to get rid of any kinks, any curls. And if you did a blowout and you don't want to straighten your hair but you do want a little bit of bounce on your hair, this is probably the best one for that. This is not going to give you very tight curls so if you want a very tight curl, this is not the hair tool for you. So I like to twist the hair tool. And this is what you get. Nothing crazy. I mean it just gives you a little bit of a bounce and it's just going to make your blowout look from this to this you know just a little bit of a bounce so it is very nice so let's move on to the queen miss amika so this was the hair tool that went viral on tiktok it went so viral guys like so many people were talking about it and it's funny because i had this hair tool a couple years ago and then i ended up gifting it to someone so i didn't have it at home to be able to try it again during this like viral period and then this was sold out everywhere so i couldn't get my hands on it again but i finally bought it again so let's try it again um it's been a couple years since i used this so let's get right into it this retails for about a hundred dollars so i'm gonna put the prices up here this only has one heat setting which i believe is around 365 degrees fahrenheit i like the size of this brush more than the other one because i feel like this is going to give me tighter curls but at the same time i don't love that this has only one heat setting i kind of wish it had two heat settings at least but this did go viral for a reason i remember this giving me very nice curls so let's try it again okay already i love how it grabs all my hair so easily so i'm just gonna hold for a little bit unwrap hold unwrap and then once you get to the ends you're gonna want to twist wow very nice i really like that with all these hair tools i definitely have to set each curl for a little bit at least 30 minutes add some hairspray and you know just let them set for some time because these curls do tend to fall very quickly so just keep that in mind so let's move on to the amika dupe that has also gone viral on tiktok it's only 30 dollars right now so if you want to grab it i'm going to be putting the amazon link down below but yeah this one hands down is like one of my favorite ones i'm not gonna lie like i've been using this so freaking much so much and so this has two heat settings and I always put it in the highest heat setting. It also brings about five other attachments, which are like curling irons and stuff. I'm going to put a picture right here. I never really use those attachments, but it's nice that it brings it. So that's always a plus. So let's do a curl with this one. As you can see, I'm just grabbing the hair, slowly bringing this down. Bring it back up and hold for a little bit. Bring it back down. And then once you get to the ends, you're going to start twisting. And there you have it. Very nice. I feel like that was a little bit tighter than the other ones so yeah i really like that this is only about 30 dollars. it gives you amazing results very beautiful curls i have a ton of tutorials using this so i'm gonna put a couple here but yeah i really do like it because it is very affordable like i said and it feels very gentle on my hair and it really is doing basically almost the same thing as most of these so yeah if you want to save some money if you want a heated round brush this is a great one to have. Just really try to do the technique that I showed you guys. The unwrap, wrap, unwrap. And that way it's not going to pull your hair as much. Because if you start pulling from the top. Like once your hair is all wrapped around to the hair. When you start pulling from the top. It is going to definitely pull your hair a little bit more. So keep that in mind. This one is also from Wavy Talk. But this one is not detachable. So this is also about $30. So it really depends on what you're looking for. I know some people don't like that this one doesn't bring the other attachments. So it's like with the other one, with this one, you get about five attachments. You get curling irons and everything. And it's the same price. So you are getting more stuff for your buck. You know what I mean? But then this one 
it's just the brush and it's about the same price so it really depends on what you're looking for for me this one works because this is really the only attachment or the only tool that i want i'm not really interested in the other attachments and i also like that my hair doesn't get stuck right here so that's a plus i think it is all warmed up so let's do a quick curl with it so i'm gonna hold for a little bit unwrap hold again then once you get to the end you're gonna twist and so there you have it it gives you the same exact curl this was with the other wavy top the detachable one and then this is with the regular one so let's move on to another one that is also very similar to all of these wavy talks and the amica one the Callista one by the way the amica and the wavy talk are a little bit different so the amica is actually a little bit bigger and the brush is also a little bit bigger so this one is giving me tighter curls maybe also because the brush is a little bit smaller which i kind of prefer honestly because i do like a tighter curl especially with heated round brushes since the curls do fall a little bit quicker i do prefer a tighter curl so that they can last a little bit longer the amica is nice because you can also grab way more hair with it so if you have very long hair you might like the amica more comparing the wavy talk with the calista they're pretty much about the same size i guess we'll do this section back here for the calista one what i like about the calista is that this is probably on sale right now for about 60 dollars which is not bad but what i like about calista is that they have three different sizes for this same hair tool okay guys so this is the hair tool i actually thought i was using a 1.25 inch but i am using the medium size so this is the 1.25 this is the one and a half and then this is the 1.75 inch so as you can see it gives you different curls it's very nice that they have that option they have the same brush in three different sizes like how cool is that um but anyways i'm gonna smooth out my hair i'm gonna do a little curl so I'm just doing the same technique. I'm not going to repeat myself because I just feel like you guys are going to get tired of me saying unwrap, wrap, unwrap, hold. <laughs> but I'm just holding the hair tool for a little bit. By the way, with this hair tool, you only get one heat setting, which, I mean, you guys already know, it's like not my preference. I'd rather have a couple of different heat settings. Um, but yeah, this heat setting is about 365 degrees Fahrenheit, which also works for me. And wow, you know what? That is my favorite curl right now. That is beautiful. Wow, I really, really love that. That is so nice. The Calista one is going to give you beautiful, beautiful curls. I mean, look at that. Look at that curl. It's so tight. So let's move on to a more high-end hair tool. This is the GHD Rise. This one and the dry bar are the most expensive ones. I believe this is $150, so it is up there. And so this also only has one heat setting, just like the other GHD hair tools. So the heat setting on this is 365 degrees Fahrenheit. With this one, you definitely have to get used to the brush. As you can see, the bristles are so tiny, like so small. So it is a little bit hard to grab all your hair with it. Um, so try to take small sections, I guess. But once you get the hang of it, you do get very nice tight curls. This is also nice for giving yourself some volume at the root. But I'm going to try to do a curl because I just flipped the ends. Oh, even that looks very nice. But I'm going to try to do a curl. So, let's take the hair tool. You see, it's very hard to, like, keep all the hair in. So, have to get used to it. But anyways, once you get all the hair, you hold for a little bit. Just keep doing that. Unwrap, hold. And then... twist the ends wow <laughs> hello hello ghd oh my goodness i mean that is pretty nice i'll do another one on this side for tiktok and then i'll be right back so yeah the ghd rise at first you might hate her but then once you got the hang of it you're gonna love her you see how it's like kind of hard to grab the hair i noticed that something that helps is just kind of like bringing the hair back just like put it back there <laughs> and then as you can see it was able to grab the hair so yeah just takes a little bit of practice don't be impatient like i was when i bought this the first time 
and just keep practicing because it really does work super well um i know a lot of you guys were shocked when i posted <laughs> an instagram using this hair tool because you guys remember that i actually used to not love this hair tool and i bought it and i returned it you guys remember i love you guys you guys are the best um but yeah look at that so freaking nice I love the GHD one. This is an amazing Christmas gift, by the way. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. But yeah, once you practice and use it for a little bit, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. But anyways, let's move on to a very similar one, the dry bar. With the dry bar, you do get a couple of different heat settings. But these two are kind of different in their own way. The bristles of this one, you have a mix of like hard ones. And then these like rubbery ones. I don't know if you guys can see that. So you get a little bit of a mix. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Because if you don't use it right, it is going to pull your hair. So you have to definitely do the method that I'm talking about for this entire video. <laughs> like this is the one that might pull your hair a little bit more. Especially if you don't use it right. Because of the rubbery bristles. So with the dry bar, you do get a couple of different heat settings, which is so nice. I really like that about this hair tool. I mean, you get so many different heat settings. So you can do 400, you can do 200. So that is very nice. I really do like that. And with this one, you definitely get tighter curls. So I'm just smoothing out the roots first, and then I'm going to do a curl. So let's do a curl now. This one definitely grabs the hair super well, which can be good, but also bad if you don't know how to use it. Because then you're going to end up pulling your hair, so make sure that you unwrap, wrap again, hold, unwrap, wrap, hold, and then once you get to the ends, you're going to do a little curl. Look at that. So freaking pretty. How beautiful. I really like that. Let's do a longer curl. Unwrap. Bring it back up. Hold. Unwrap. Twist. And there you have it. Super nice. Okay, last but not least, the Revlon Heat Around Brush. So this one, just like the dry bar, has the rubbery bristles. But this one only has... The rubbery bristles it doesn't even have like a hard one so this one does kind of pull my hair a little bit more than the other ones but again it's very affordable it's only 30 dollars which is very nice and it does have two heat settings so low and high i'm gonna smooth out my roots yeah you can definitely feel how this grabs the hair super well but if you use it right you shouldn't pull your hair with this either so try to do the technique that i told you about um, okay, so bring it up, hold for a little bit, bring it up, hold for a little bit, unwrap, hold, and now I'm just going to twist the bottom, and so there you have it. Super cute. I really like that. That is super cute. A lot of people say that this one pulls their hair and also the dry bar, but I promise you, you're probably not using it right because if you unwrap the hair and then wrap it and then unwrap, not pull from the top, it shouldn't pull your hair. It really shouldn't pull your hair. So just try to do that. But anyways, I'm going to try to finish my hair because my hair just looks crazy right now but anyways that is it for this video let me know in the comments down below which hair tool you would prefer which one was your favorite and also let me know if you have any of these if you have tried any of them and let me know your thoughts i'm very curious to see what you guys think of these hair tools as always i'm going to be linking all these hair tools down below in the description box but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much